right, this is Robert J. Morris over at EPGN Media. I got about three clips to unpack here. I'll start off with the CTV's perception. Uh, and, well, you judge for yourself. Lawlessness is something people in downtown Ottawa have obviously been forced to live with. What they could live without is the lack of leadership in making it stop. Here's CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Joyce Napier. The unacceptable views are over there, not over here. As what's happening in Ottawa is being described as an occupation and an insurrection, the political blame game is in full swing. It is the responsibility of the police of jurisdiction, and in this case, the Ottawa Police Service, to maintain public order and to uphold the rule of law. Politicians pointing fingers. When will the Prime Minister stop hiding, show up for Canadians, show some leadership and fix the mess that he's created? Well, the Prime Minister out of his COVID quarantine was in the House this evening for an emergency debate on the situation in Ottawa. The people of Ottawa don't deserve to be harassed in their own neighbourhoods. They don't deserve to be confronted with the inherent violence of a swastika flying on a street corner. This, as Ottawa's police chief slammed for the force's weak response, is now promising results. We are turning up the heat in every way we possibly can. And he says he needs help from the provincial and federal governments, including an additional 1,800 police officers. The current structure of this police service, the funding and resources of this police service, is not sufficient to deal with all of this. And the response from the political class? More talking. The federal government is proposing to convene a trilateral table with municipal and provincial partners. This while Ottawa's mayor pushes for a negotiated solution, something the prime minister has already rejected. It's time to bring in some kind of a mediator, someone with, with great um, uh, credibility. Meanwhile, many downtown Ottawa residents and businesses want a little less conversation and a little more action. It doesn't matter to me at the end of the day who is responsible, but it's enough of people going back and forth trying to decide who's going to take charge and who is going to fix the problem. In a letter to the Prime Minister today, the Mayor of Ottawa said the non-stop honking of large trucks for days is tantamount to psychological warfare. What the city needs now is a force large enough to drive them out of town. Wow. <laughs> anyway, that's what they're driving home. The divide between common misperception and the actual truth is very, very wide and divided at the moment. Here's one that I found rather emotional, but have a gander at this uh, lady confronting, I believe it's a CBC. Yeah, thanks, Pat. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah, no. oh. So now that your job is done, do you actually believe the stuff that you say out of curiosity or do you just kind of do the script that you're told to repeat? I'm just curious because you have destroyed my life, CBC. Um, you, you write a lot of hit pieces about me. My family has been doxxed. I've received death threats. Um, I have a six-year-old son, a three-year-old son. I come from a good family. And you've literally destroyed my life because I ask appropriate questions. I just want to know if you have children, if this is actually the world that you feel that, you know, you want to raise kids in, that you think kids, you know, want, should be living in, if this is the future for them, like you're young, you actually think this is appropriate? And do, like, do you actually believe the work that you do or is it just a good paycheck? You? Like, like CBC has destroyed my life. Like you should see the hit pieces, many of them that you guys have written about me. Um, it's disgusting. I'm Chris Nagel. I'm a nurse, and um, because of the hit pieces, you guys have totally like ruined my career, and and just and I've been fired um, because of it. People have doxxed my address. People have given me death threats um, because of the lies that you guys spread and and the way that you twist the truth. And I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old, and kids have never been happier than what has been created here. Why don't you show that truth? Do you see the smiles in the kids? Do you know what has been taken away from them these last two years? Do you know six-year-olds have told me they wanted to cut themselves and kill themselves? Kids want to die because of the last two years. Why aren't you showing that? And now you're talking about kids' welfare safety? Now you think kids should be taken from their parents out of these trucks? You're working with welfare services? They're, they're what they're showing, they're like but you're repeating it. Like, you're repeating it. And people are believing it. 
Why do you think there's people out here counter protesting? Why do you think Winnipeg, someone drove down four protesters purposely and put them in critical care? Why do you think there's actually violence and hate happening? Do you know how divisive this is? Yeah. Is this actually Canada? Do you know what you're reporting and what you're doing to the people out there? How does that make you feel? You're a young guy. This is not the world. This is not Canada. This is not the world I want my kids to live in. And you guys are a big part of what you're doing. It's not right, man. You got to think about that. Yeah, this totally is not right. Your, your side there. Totally. My husband lost his job. He's a teacher. I was a nurse. Good people out there, that firefighter. Do you know how many nurses out there have lost jobs? How many teachers? How many um, firefighters? Like Just because just of the jobs I just heard there recently, everyone has suffered. People have died because of this. It's not okay. Welfare? You're bringing up welfare services? You're talking about concerned about kids being with their family? Kids are with their families in these trucks. And they are laughing and they're dancing. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves for what you're doing. Fun is illegal in Canada. They have never been happier. These 10 days and they have in the last two years. Do you know how many kids came up and said thank you? Do you do you actually even look at the notes that are stuck to every single truck from kids? Do you see the heart that comes out from them? Do you know how important this is for them? Like I said there, like I totally get your, your side there too. <laughs> then why don't you report it? Why don't you guys report it? Like I said, why don't you report the truth? Not my, it's not in my power now. Sorry. You allow it to happen. By being here, you like, allow it to happen. It's not even in my power. Or is this your job? Well, is this I, your job to stand? So you consent. You consent. Care. I took a, I took a choice as a nurse, and right away, as soon as this happened, I stood up and I lost my job for it. You being here a part of this, you're complicit. It means you consent to what is happening. Okay. It's just money. There's other jobs. There's other ways. There's other platforms. The longer you stay with this lie, Great night, eh? stay stronger. Oh, I am strong. Yeah. You have no idea. Yeah, but you guys have you guys have to sleep at night and live with your conscience of what you're doing to Canada and the people here. I do sleep at night. Thank you. I feel sorry for you. Shame on all of you. Shame on you. Sad, pathetic people. Bye. All right. See, I held it in till the cameras are gone. But it's not okay. It's not okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm just bringing in the kids, bringing in the kids, saying they're working with welfare services. That's the message they, they want to put out there. That they're concerned about the safety of the kids and the welfare. No, it's just not okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, gut wrenching. Um. That's uh, a very important point to make, by the way, is uh, I've always been saying right from the beginning is that once the government decides to go after the children, that's when things are going to get uh, sticky. I just really hope that the that all parties involved can keep a cool head in a very deliberate and very peaceful manner. All right, longtime friend and OG member of the original bunch to... Uh, was doing YouTube stuff back in 2014. I just send a, a hail out and a hello. Just something on a more positive note uh, to leave you guys with. And thanks for sticking around this long. Top of the night, whatever the case may be, my name's Ben Matthews, a.k.a. Ben Time Traveler. I am who I say I am. Your government, with inside the government, ain't trust me on this. I know these things. And I'm talking about the government, with inside the government. Not the deep state, not the window dressing that they want you to look at. I'm talking about the government with inside the government. But that's another story. Today, down in Detroit, what you're looking at is the Blue Water Bridge from Port Huron to Sarnia, or from Sarnia to Port Huron, whatever way you want to look at it. But the Ambassador Bridge down in Detroit has been shut down by protesters, and we're down here at the Blue Water Bridge where they've been telling truckers to uh, use this bridge instead to get back and forth to Canada. There's no backup on this bridge. Traffic seems to be moving a little slower than usual. Unsure within a matter of time with all the people having to come from Detroit down here to Port Huron. Take about 45 minutes to an hour to get here. So I, I imagine within two hours, 
the highway will be backed up here going into Sarnia and coming probably out of Sarnia. Like I said, there's a little bit more uh, more traffic right now than usual. Um, considering what's going on down in Detroit with the bridge being shut down with the protesters there. This is a big deal. And I'm waiting, waiting for this one to be shut down. If they shut this one down, and uh, <laughs> they're making a point, man. And, and, I, and this is what they need to do. It, 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 they want to voice their opinion with nonviolence, shut down this bridge, shut down the, Wizard, the Ambassador Bridge, and shut down the, tr the tank train tunnel down, or the tunnel down there in Detroit. Shut it down, man. Nonviolence, voice your 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 opinion. Your, your own. That's that, man. That's how it needs to be done, man. You know, not, this is nonviolence. You know, it, it, you know. I'm looking at Canada. You know, it's a socialist country, man. I, I, I said this numerous times. I love my brothers and sisters over there. And, and I always said, when are you guys going to stand up for yourself, for your rights, man? I watch you come over this bridge right here every day before the, the pandemic broke, buying gas, cigarettes, milk, your groceries, everything. You would come over here, over this bridge, and you would buy your product. Why? Because it costs more over there in your socialist country, man. And like I said, I love you, my brothers and sisters over there. But you can't tell me you ain't got death panels over there either. I know for a fact you have death panels, man. I know people that have died waiting to get in the hospital. I, I know people that had to wait six months just to go see their doctor. Once they seen the doctor in six months, found out they had cancer, they died before they even got to the hospital to get treatment. I love you, brothers and sisters. And, and it, it's about time that you stood up. And, and you stood up strong, united, and voiced your opinion, man. Because you know what? I got your back, man. I got your back. You can't have somebody's back that won't stand up for themselves, man. You know, and, and Penn Time Traveler, before this even happened, about the GoFundMe funds with the truckers, what did the Penn Time Traveler say a week before it even happened? That money, something's going to happen, it's going to disappear. Bana boom, bana bing. I'm glad they got their stuff back, though, man. But I told you, man, because that's how these socialists work, man. You know, they, 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 if they can't, they can't shut you up, man. They'll financially try to break you, man. If they can't financially break you, then they'll throw you in prison, man. Well, we'll sit here for a little bit, man, and, uh, We'll see if there's any backup. I can see it starting to back up right here, man. You know, you you can tell. Usually, there's there's no there's no line of truck. You can watch the rest of uh, the video on his YouTube channel, Ben Time Traveler. I'll leave the link in the description below, as I will also leave the other ones. Um, yeah, check his channel out. He's a uh, he's a good fellow, but he's also boots on the ground and. Uh, if you want to make a difference, start making a difference now. Start start talking to people. Start bringing this to awareness levels uh, and reach out because you'll get shot down. I guarantee it, but uh, keep trying. Be persistent. Um, it's, uh, it's mind-numbingly difficult in this. Uh, I'd like to say line of work, but it's more or less a duty to do, you know, it's a duty. This is Robert J. Morris for EPGN Media. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with uh, more updates. Take care, everyone.